Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Frida and today I'm going to be showing you my monthly favorites. Uh, there are of course a few favorites that have been my favorite for longer than this month. I actually, pretty much most of them have been my favorite at least three months. But it has been a while since I do a favorites and I thought, you know, I'm going to put the things that I have been loving a lot, like a lot, a lot. So. Um, you know, you might see in a few months, maybe I would do like my yearly favorites, maybe the product is not here. It's because sometimes I go into phases of using things, but there are a lot of things that I just really want to go more in depth and I don't want to make this video way too long. So I think I'm going to be doing uh skincare favorites too because i have been trying a lot of skincare too and i have a few things that i really wanted to mention right now of skincare but i have other stuff that i have been using literally since the beginning of the year so just wait for that so let's start because otherwise i just rumble way too much and i get out of topic and you know <laughs> i talk way too much so to start with, I want to talk about these two dresses, this and this, they are from Sara. Uh, hopefully I would have some pictures and I will try to put them here for you. I think they are super cute, super pretty and they're 100% cotton which is super important because right now where I'm currently living is super hot so otherwise I feel like I'm melting so um, you know I'm, I meant to do a Sarah haul so wait for that but I'm just waiting for a few uh, different items that still haven't arrived and you know I have been doing quite a bit of you know shopping there just because I, I am currently living with my parents and I did bring a little bit of clothing but I soon realized that I didn't bring enough because although I'm not like dressing up all the time I literally just bring PJs and some workout wear because I didn't feel like this was going to last forever and I really truly need to dress up a few times per week because otherwise I feel kind of sad I really really like dressing up so um, you know I really like these ones and I actually bought them on sale so I don't know if they still on the website but I find that it's super important to check the materials I know there are super cute dresses sometimes out there but when they're not the right material if you don't live in a super hot country it's not going to be really a problem but when you live in Mexico in a place where it's hot in Mexico you, you realize that uh, material is super important and you know it's just super 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 important so I'm going to put these ones away because I don't want them to get wrinkled and other favorite is this linen shirt that I am wearing right now it's a super cute linen shirt I think I might buy a few more of these ones because they have different colors and I'm pretty sure this is still in the Sarah website because it's the new collection so uh, if you like linen stuff check this one it's really good and it's somewhat of a reasonable price because it's not crazy expensive it's not cheap either but you know linen um, really good materials tend to be more expensive but they're expensive for a reason uh, they are more expensive to make um, so here I have some hair stuff. So first I have to give a really shout out to Dyson because I just love my Dyson. I, I truly do. I bought this at the end of the year. Um, yeah, I bought this at the end of the year 2019 and you know it's, it was quite a splurge this is super expensive and at the time I said this was like the Ferraris of hair dryers and it totally is I haven't feel like my hair was any damaged by this and my hair has grown a lot I 
I cut my hair well like six months ago and you can see it's quite long I could I, I think it has grown like 10 to 15 centimeters since then and that has been you know just six months I think so some people might say that's not a lot I think that's quite a bit because I actually cut more than I meant to and um, if I have a picture I might put a picture there but I really 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 have had really good hair days since I got this and I had had some different hair dryers before but I haven't used them as much as this one and I know it's super crazy expensive but just by the amount of times that I have used this one I think it's totally worth it for me because honestly speaking every time I use this my hair look so shiny so healthy so good it was powerful and it made the time of drying my hair super 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 quick yet I didn't feel like it was killing my hair or anything like that I I love this stuff and I'm going to do uh, a really in-depth review about this because honestly it deserves it this is so good and I was so in love by this that it actually made me be a person that was more interesting in doing her hair and because of that I bought quite a few different things and I had some favorites and some fails there because well her favorites for sure is this one I am also almost done with this one and it's super good I actually repurchased something else for, from Bumble and Bumble I am trying some different stuff but I really like this one I would repurchase this uh, but I don't like to be wasteful so first I might finish other things that I have talking about the hair dryer um, as I said before, I went into a journey of trying to, you know, trying different hairstyles and doing my hair. And actually, I wanted to buy and do more different things with my hair. So I bought the T3 hair curlers. And those ones work really good. I would say that. I'm not disappointed in that. I actually end up buying two packages of them. So I don't have an, I don't have them with me right now, and I will tell you why. The thing with my T3 rollers is that although they're really good, long short story, um, they're good. They work really well, but I have such a long hair that they truly um, are not so practical for me. And when you travel with them, I will have to bring the two package of them uh, because I need two to do my whole hair. So that's something like this big and although it's not heavy it takes quite a bit of room so I you know I was looking on Amazon and I bought a really good brand of a hair curler and I'm not kidding you I spent like an hour and a half doing my hair and it looked awful like my hair didn't want to curl whatsoever and the curls literally disappear. I, I literally was doing one by one and taking a small sections of hair and even my mom tried to help me with this and my mom is she's not someone who works anymore in hair but she actually studied to be a professional hair stylist so she knows how to curl hair and she was like oh my god your hair doesn't want to hold the curl and you know it's not really about the curling iron I think because this happened to me quite often I have had professionals do my hair and the curl doesn't last I remember not so long ago a girl did my hair and they literally didn't last whatsoever like she spent like two hours doing my curls I'm not kidding I'm not kidding because actually it was late for a photo shoot and my curls didn't last and she was being so careful with them using quite a bit of product in every single one of them 
and because I have such a long hair and I have quite a straight hair and it's I think medium thickness um, I think my hair just doesn't want to hold curls the best way that my hair holds the curls is if I do I can do two, two things I first either blow dry my hair and I get the curl with the hair and I then pin it in my head or I use curlers and both of them mean that I have to have the curlers at least quite a bit of time to, for me to actually get a curl that holds the whole day long I have to slip into my curls you know like with those tiny things you know like old school kind of a deal because otherwise even curling irons don't work on me so I told you that really long story just because I wanted to show you that I did a huge splurge and I got the Dyson Airwrap I know some people might be like oh my god did you get that? That's super expensive. And actually, um, you know, my birthday is coming. So I was like, why not? I'm going to give it a try. Uh, it's supposed to have a really good return policy. So if it didn't work for me, I was just going to return it. But I have used this every single time since I got it. And honestly speaking, I'm in love. There is nothing else that does my hair like this and it's so easy to use I'm going to do a separate video talking about this for sure but honestly speaking I don't know why people are saying that this is difficult to use when it's honestly the easiest thing I have ever used in my hair like so easy and I don't feel like my hair is being damaged or anything and my curls last Literally, like the first day, depending on what I use for sure, it does look quite voluminous and curly. And by the second day, it looks a little bit more wavy. And the third day, it looks like I really just have a really good blow, dry, curly, um, you know, ends kind of a deal. But my hair looks really, really, really good the whole three days. And it's only until my, you know, scalp is getting quite oily that it doesn't look so good. Uh, but honestly speaking, my hair hasn't been better than uh, with any other product than this one. I'm really quite in shock. It's, it's super easy. It literally takes me like 45 minutes to my hair in curls when it used to take me like I'm not kidding, like three hours. I'm not kidding, three hours. And this is from the beginning to end, curls, drying the hair, everything. And you might be thinking, well, girl, what do you do with your hair that you take so long? Um, first, I have really long hair. I wouldn't say super, super long, but it goes up to my waist for sure. But I'm a taller person, so it's quite long. I'm, I'm a I'm 5'9", so you have to think that maybe there is one shorter that has the same length on her. Like It looks like we have the same length, but because I'm taller, this is longer. And other thing is that I have lots of hair. Like, I'm not kidding, I have quite a bit of hair. And this is like something from family, we all have lots of hair, so... Um, you know, I, I love the fact that I have quite a bit of hair, but it takes a really, really long time to do your hair when you want to do your hair. So I just wanted to really shout out here that although I have hair, I have really long hair, I didn't find too difficult to do my hair with the air wrap. And I will, as I mentioned before, do a video in deep showing you how I do this. But honestly, it's... It's not that difficult. I, I really didn't find this difficult. And one thing that made me actually get this was that I was browsing on YouTube and watching way too many videos as I normally do. And I I saw a woman saying that she got her 
Airwrap back because she got an email from Dyson saying that they have longer barrels. And I was like, oh my God. Because the whole thing about me not getting the Airwrap a few, like at the end of the year, uh, last year, was because I thought, you know, I had really long hair and I thought everyone was saying that if you really, really have long hair, it was not going to work for you, for what I heard for the most part. And people saying that it was really difficult to use. So I was like, I have really long hair and it's quite heavy because it's so long and I have so much. And I really thought it was not going to work for me. So that's why I got the hair dryer. But honestly speaking, this would have been perfect by then. Um, I don't think one removes the use of the other one because the other one is more powerful and I actually think I do get quite a bit of use out of the other one because I normally live in a really cold place and I freeze every time I clean my hair so I, I think that one is going to still be quite useful. I can remove quite more fast the excess of water with the other one and actually style my hair with this one and I know it's quite expensive but I'm more of the idea of getting things that you are going to use and get the use out of wear kind of a deal like you just makes more reasonable the price of what you actually spend so that's why I think it's super important and other thing, this doesn't fry your hair like hair curlers do. The one day I tried to do my hair with a hair curler, I felt like I was killing my hair. Like I was, even though I used quite a bit of uh, heat protectant, I really felt like I was going to damage my hair way too much if I keep doing that. So I was like, you know, I'm not even going to try anymore. Like I really, really tried and I got sad. So I'm really super happy that this actually works for me. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy I have used this every single time you have watched me with curl hair. So, you know, I have used this a lot and I'm in love with this. So needless to say, I'm in love with Dyson. <laughs> okay, other hair product that I have tried and loved is this sparkling soda shine mist and I think this is from um, dry bar and this is super good because this gives shine to your hair and if you have black hair you know that even though you might have super healthy hair it's difficult for your hair to look shiny just cause it's black, it's literally black, and black doesn't reflect light, black absorbs light. So um, if you ever see my hair shining, it's you know, mainly because of this product or other things. And yes, of course, you can see a little bit of shine when you see me natural lighting, but it tends to disappear with quite harsh lighting. So that's why sometimes really blonde hair looks amazing because it's so shiny. I'm going to leave that to a video talking about hair because otherwise I talk too much, okay? And this is going to take forever. Other stuff I um, have been loving for the hair is this Avera Voldemysin Tonic. I actually didn't buy this. I got this sent from free from Sephora because I have been buying way too many stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, I got a few stuff. Um, so I, I, I do like this a lot. Um, I do feel a difference when I use this that when I don't. My hair holds better the curls. My hair looks like it has more volume and things like that. And you know, I'm going to use it until I finish it because it was for free. And would I buy this again? I don't know. I think it did make a difference, but I have made an order already from Sephora. And I'm expecting quite a few items from Bumble and Bumble to 
the same purpose that this has so if I like this one better of course I'm going to repurchase this one this might be really good for people with really fine hair though because um, I find that this doesn't weigh down at all my hair so keep that in mind other snack which is open <laughs> I want to show you um, is these ones and this is Kalan um, it doesn't really matter what flavor it is all of them are really really good Kalan Obleas this is a Mexican brand and this whole package is just 60 calories some of them are even less and they're like 50 calories and this is amazing because this is just half the package, by the way. It normally gets really, it's quite a bit of product. So this really helps with anxiety. And I know that when people get stressed, sometimes eat a lot, I'm one of those people. And I wouldn't say that I've been super stressed, but I know a lot of people have been. So I know this, is, this might be a really helpful snack for trying to minimize your calories because I know a lot of people have been putting tons of weight in this quarantine and this tastes really good. I will tell you my favorite ways to eat it. When I am anxious and I just want to eat, um, by the sake of eating, I try to eat them by themselves but when I'm going to have this as an actual snack something that will take a little bit more calories from my diet. I like to eat this with peanut butter or almond butter and I like to buy the brands from Kirlen because those ones are amazing, they are just literally not butters so they don't have any sugar added or anything like that and to me they taste amazing. I prefer those ones to any other butter in the world because they're super 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 good so I take a package of these I might make myself a protein shake, which I'm going to talk about, <laughs> a protein shake and I might put uh, a portion of peanut butter drizzle on top of this and that really helps with hunger and trying to, you know, remove that sugar craving and it really helps you a lot. It really, really, really does. Other way that I like to eat this is with ice cream <laughs> and you might be like whoa that's quite different but actually I have found uh, different types of uh, ice creams which I don't have with me at the moment because I just finished a few of them <laughs> but um, yeah there's a lot of different brands of ice cream which I love and they don't have any sugar added a lot of a lot of them have been with stevia so I normally uh, do quite a few different flavors of ice cream and I break these ones on top and that tastes amazing because it gives a different texture and these ones are super crunchy so it do really 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 help with anxiety in my opinion because having something crunchy really does help and that, those ones are amazing because it's a lot of volume to such a little amount of calories so I'm going to put their information down below well let's keep going um, I have been loving this 8 Cosmetics Confidence Gel Lotion um, I know that some people might be like what? 8 Cosmetics for skincare? hear me out this is one of my favorites gel moisturizers that I have ever tried. Uh, this doesn't have any alcohol in the, it. It has really really good ingredients. I did my research on every single one of them and I actually like this one better than the Dr. Sam gel moisturizer which I talk about in my empties. I would say this is a really... this might be a tie between the first eight beauty uh, gel moisturizer and this one because I love both I really really like this it's super good it's a really nice texture I really do feel like it plums and brings moisture to my skin and the moisture stays on my skin 
and I think this is a really good layer piece because it doesn't peel or anything like that and I have been loving this and you get quite a bit of product you get 75 milliliters so that's a good amount other thing that I have been loving when it comes to skincare I have talked about this before but I'm someone who loves the ordinary I just really really love um, now they sell it in quite a few places here in Mexico so it's not, not such a trouble to get it because uh, customs here sometimes is just a mess you actually can get them from a retailer here so um, I would say that there is like literally 15 products which I love from the ordinary and but I really do love their oils and I love this 100% marula oil and I got the rose hip oil for my mother and I got this marula oil for me all of these oils are cold press and they're organic and they are super well priced this is so cheap if you consider that other brands sell this like three times this price I love this I, I love this I have tried this before I have finished bottles of this before um, I have mentioned this in this channel but I have other channel where I have mentioned quite a few empties of this so this is something that I will still repurchase quite often so I, I truly 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 love this I use it for my nails and for dry parts because as I have mentioned before I have combination skin so sometimes I do get dry patches and I sometimes use this for my hair but I love it I just I'm really really love this with this just one more thing when it comes to skin and then we can move on to makeup and I have this Kirlin signature um towelette towels it's just to remove your makeup but I have been really liking them and I don't use them per se to remove my makeup on my face. I sometimes do use them for that, but mainly when I'm using tons of glitter because I don't want to get any glitter inside my eye because that can be hurtful for your eyes. But I normally do use them for cleaning my hands when I'm doing makeup because I don't love using hands with makeup, but I find them really useful. I don't like to use hands because sometimes I get really dirty and I end up running my outfit. You don't have the idea of how many times I had to change my outfit because I got makeup on my outfit. So this really does help when it comes to that. And I find that um, they don't really irritate my skin or anything. And because they're you know quite a big size, um, you can then finish using them when you clean your makeup so you have makeup which is clean you know they are curling they are well priced and what I like about these is that they are pretty much just micellar water and that's pretty much it uh, they have a little bit other things but the main ingredient is micellar water and I find them really super gentle as I mentioned before, I'm not a fan of using um, this kind of thing to remove your makeup. I use a two-step cleanse routine, which is an oil-based cleanser and then a water-based cleanser, a balm or a cream or something like that. So I'm not a fan of, you know, uh, towels when it comes to that, but I, I do really, really like this. So... Then we can talk about makeup and I just have this much makeup to talk about. First, I have to mention this, this is quite dirty, I just use it. Um, this is a palette to mix products, which I find super useful because sometimes it's difficult for me to find the right color for my foundation. And I tend to mix a lot of different things, so I really like this. And what I love about this is that it has a mirror and actually I cannot see from far away. I actually have to give a shout out to my new glasses because I can see from far away and for the longest time I was getting headaches and I'm like really need to get new glasses and I got these like at the beginning like three months ago and 
they're clearly super dirty but I love them I literally just love them they're super pretty I know they're quite out there they're quite the cut eye shape but I love them I, I love them they always look good and I can really not say anything bad about them I love them and I will link this uh, I will try to link them down below these are stack potion and I find them super good uh, there were a few that I wanted but I decided that these ones for my everyday were going to be perfect because they were cut eye and they are quite um, a thick material so I didn't want to get anything too fragile and actually um, I'm really careful when it comes to my things so I, I it wasn't so much that I was going to break them because I actually have even the first pair of glasses that I ever got believe it or not <laughs> I still have them I just have to change um, the graduation because that is not my graduation anymore I need more <laughs> like you know I really really like those ones so as I mentioned before I really really like this uh, because when I'm blind I'm doing my eye makeup I cannot see from far away so the fact that this has a mirror it really does help for me to see really close up because I don't have a problem looking from close it's just from far away that I cannot I just cannot <laughs> another really big favorite of mine has been this Natasha Lenona palette and I would say it's mainly for the glitters I actually at the beginning I was a little bit disappointed because I don't like the mattes they're a little bit patchy but since I actually used this one and this one which is the one that I'm wearing and by the way I did film this makeup look so I would try to link it down below uh, if you want to watch how I did this makeup look, it's super simple, super easy. I find this clear super pretty, tasteful, flattering, appropriate for daytime to nighttime. They just look so pretty. They're not overpowering or anything like that. And they're just, they're just gorgeous, honestly speaking. And I find that I do wear every single one of these shades. So although Natasha Denona is expensive, something like this, it feels like I'm going to get the wear out of them so I really 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 love and enjoy these ones and these ones I have used for I got them like a year ago almost I got them in 2018 in the end of the year so it has been longer than a year and I, I still love this stuff so I have love this and I have mentioned this and you have seen me use this for my panda eyes quite often but actually I got this because um and the beginning of the year I think it was I had such bad skin you can even believe it I have mentioned I normally don't get breakouts but I have a problem with my hormones I this has been a while now but it was like eight months ago I did have some terrible allergies that got me like literally burns on my skin and everything was giving me allergies and I had to end up with a dermatologist and he was really like oh my god what's going on with your skin and I have to really clean my diet for a long time because of something that I took <laughs> really was not meant for me I was having such a really bad skin and I mean to do a video about my skin and what has helped me so that it should be in my skincare video so keep that in mind I, I'm going to try to don't go too in deep with that because I know the video is getting super long but this is amazing for panda eyes and for a hyperpigmentation I had a lot of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation which is really those dark marks the more dark your skin is the more prone you are to it and I know I might not look super dark because I don't tan a lot but I can get super tan if I if I let myself 
spread. I don't like the skin damage that you can get with it, so I normally don't. Um, and, you know, I'm from Mexico. I have quite a bit of melanin into my DNA, so it's just, I'm a mix of a lot of things. So I, I do can get tan, and because of that, I can get, I'm more prone to get post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. And this was amazing. I was using other thing before this, but I find that a lot of uh, color correctors, although they might be darker than these or even more matte than these, they will disappear throughout the day. They will literally almost disappear from beneath my foundation and this will not. So uh, at the time I was piling on sunscreen and color correctors and base foundation and my skin was a mess so I really have lots of love for this because I just it was a time when I found this and the double wear which is I think my favorite foundation of all the time which I have find my right tone which is the only why I cannot say that but still I, I I can't find my winter foundation, but not my summer foundation yet. So, still, I that foundation really changed my world all the time because I was having a really hard time with my skin and the way it looked. Because I normally don't have a problem not wearing makeup, but it made me insecure the fact that I have these really dark marks on my skin. And I, I'm so vain in that degree that I was like, oh my god, why does it look like this? Like. If any of you have had troubles when it comes to your skin, I, I think you get what I mean. I know that you, you tell yourself like, oh my God, you have to do this and that, to make it better and and you do them and, but you still have like the remains of, of what it was there and it can be really, you know, stressing in that degree. And this just make my life so much easier and when I finish this, I am totally going to buy another one because I'm actually running low on this, but I love this and I have to give it like a big shout out because I'm in love. Um, I have a few different lip liners. Um, and these ones are, this one is a repurchase. I buy this one at least once a year or even more, like at least once a year. And this is, oh, hopefully it does focus. Um, this is Spice from MAC and I love this. I truly, 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 truly love this. This was my favorite lip liner for years. And now I think it's there on the top with my favorite liners, but I will have to add cork for sure. And I know that you might be like, well, those two are brown lipsticks. And I do have other brown lipsticks that I love, I adore. Um, but I have used cork quite a bit. Like last year in winter, my go-to was just cork. Like just, just put cork and that's it. <laughs> cork and a really 90s kind of makeup look was just my deal. I love lots of lashes. I used to get lash extensions all the time and that was my go-to like a really dark brown lipstick with a really good contour face. Nothing too harsh but really contour face something like 90s supermodel kind of deal. I was in love and I have realized that in spring it might be too much and when you want to use more pastel like colors it just doesn't work you know the same but still it's such a big favorite that I have to mention this and I think my favorite has been putting these two together because this really gives the illusion of bigger lips I haven't get any more compliments that when I wear this this makes my lips look like super nice and plump and big and this is actually what I'm wearing right now cork and spice uh, mixed together so you don't get such a really brown look when you put the spice inside because it has a little bit of that 
pink, red. I wouldn't say it's pink, but well, I'm going to put them in my hands so you can actually tell. But um, one for sure is brown and one for sure is a little bit more brown with a little bit of a uh, pink tone. So hopefully you can tell the brown one is cork, the more pinky one is spice. And mixed together, they make these perfect lips, which they look just so plump and luscious and just beautiful. So I really love these ones. And if you have a similar coloring to me, I find that they are like a nude to us. Like they look something that will be nude to us. Um, if you know what I mean, like I don't look super dark and I'm pretty sure that darker skins can pull these two, but uh, it's like a nude because I don't tend to have really pink lips or a lot of, of pink whatsoever on my skin. So uh, I, I find that these I can wear every single day and still look quite soft. I have used this quite a few times. I use this in my kind of K-pop inspired cute makeup look. Um, this is from Huda Beauty Lip Contour. This is Trend Setter Lip Liner, and I actually really like this. I really, really, really like this. Um, this is for sure more of a nude, but I, I really like this. But I don't know. Um, I like more my browns for the most part. But if I'm going to do something more crazy with the lips. I for sure will want something more like this. So this is the, the, the last shade here and it's really beautiful. It is something a little bit more, it has a little bit more yellow than uh, spice for sure. This is a little bit more pink. This has a little bit more of yellow running through it. Other thing, I run out of my favorite contour cream, which was the Smashbox, the Trio Sticks. And I run out of the contour shade because it comes with a contour, with a bronzer, and with a highlight. Which I honestly mainly use the contour because the highlight was not enough of a highlight for me. And the bronzer, I don't use bronzer all the time. It's just not something that I'm really keen into normally. But um, I bought a different one from Smashbox. I thought maybe I would. I would buy the same one, but I find it quite wasteful. I'm going to be totally blunt with you because I don't. I only use one color, so I bought this from Smashbox, and I thought, you know, Smashbox, it should be somewhat of a similar color. This is a true contour color. As you can see, it's a really cool tone shade, and I really like it. Uh, so far, I have really, really liked this, and this is what I use today for contouring. Um, it has a side which is a foundation, but it's not a good shade for me. It is between what is my skin tone, and it can get lost a little bit on my skin as you can see. But I find this is not the right undertone. It's yellow though, so it's not bad for me, like it's not pink, so it doesn't... It can melt into my skin, but it doesn't... It's not perfect and it's not something bad to say because 90% of the foundations that I try are not the right undertone and I have been watching a lot of videos about undertones so, so far for what I have gathered I think I, uh, I might be and I'm not super sure but I think the best description I have found for my skin is that, that first I'm clear so there is a high contrast between my skin tone and my hair. And second, uh, from what I have gathered, I think I might be uh, a medium, light, olive, cool, muted skin tone. That's a mouthful. So, um, yeah. So I might talk this more in depth in another video. Because as it is, I'm talking way too much <laughs> about it. But yeah, I think learning about it, as few videos that I have watched, I mean like 50 videos that I have watched <laughs> about this subject has made more clear why I don't find foundations for me. So 
as I mentioned before, I'm going to talk about this in another video. And um, I'm almost done, so please bear with me. Uh, this is the Dior palette. I really thought this was going to be the holy grail about highlighting. And do not get me wrong, I really like the highlighting shades, but I think I have things that I like better. What I do love, and I don't normally love, is the bronzer shade. I, I mentioned before that I normally don't bronze, and I'm not lying, I normally don't. And uh, this is the first bronzer that I own, which I feel it makes me look bronze, but it looks real in my skin tone. So this is literally like a bronze color, and I find it look, like I have a little bit on my skin and you cannot tell. I mean, you can see the difference once I don't have it and once I have it, but it looks super natural. It does look like my skin will bronze in this color and not think like, oh, that's fake or oh, that looks weird. You know what I mean? Because because I have an olive skin, sometimes things can be literally too red for me, too pink for me, and they don't work. And normally the only bronzers that do work are uh, NARS Laguna Bronzer and this one and honestly I think I might like this one better because it just looks so pretty and it has a really nice sheen so it just it just makes your skin look so pretty so this has been really something that I didn't expect to love so much I really did expect to love these ones more and I did like them, but I think I like my soft and gentle better than these ones. Because they look truly beautiful on camera, but in person, really on clothes, I think they're a little bit too glittering for me. So I really just, just, just this bronzer is enough for me. And I do wear these ones as an eyeshadow sometimes, so they're well worth it for me. Okay, I have two eyebrow products. I have used these ones in my videos before. I normally used to use just the powder and then I use the deep brow. But with a deep brow you can do crazy stuff, but you take forever. And I did buy the Urban Decay, hey, or I don't know what's the name, but the Blade one. And I tried that one and I hate it. I give that to my mother. Because in her it actually looks okay, it looks amazing on her. But I think the difference is we both have the same hair color, but my hair is so much thinner than her. My hair, you can tell when I'm filling out my brows that I do have hair, but it's quite thin. And because of that, um, it doesn't look as full. And I really have really black eyebrows, so you can totally tell that I fill them on and they look super fake if they're not black enough. So I always prefer the Anastasia granite color in their whole line. So I really like this one because it helps me be more detailed with my brows and get the subtle details that really make your eyebrow look perfect. And don't go overboard with the powder or anything like that. And I love this mascara because it's black enough and it has fibers. Um, this is the Get Me Brow, number six. And I love this one because it has fibers and it really gives your brows that fluffy look that I cannot do with, you know, the blade because it looks fake. And a tip when it comes to that, if you have really thick on brows, the other one, it might help for you because my mother actually has super thick, thick, really thick hair in her brows so and really black hair. But I find that the powder might be too much for her because otherwise it looks just way like too thick. Her eyebrows look too thick. So she can go away with using the blade and it looks super natural and it blends with her brows, although it's not the perfect color, it just blends. I don't know why. I think it might be because she has a little bit of last need 
of feeling that I do, uh, it blends better. That with me, with, because I have to feel more my brows, it just truly looks way too fake. So I have been loving these ones. They caught me the look that I wanted that the other one didn't give me. So I have just two products with me. This is, I have this mascara with me. This is the extended plate mascara. And I really truly love this stuff. As you can see, I have quite long lashes, photo lashes, and this makes my lashes look really, really long. I can go crazy with this and they still look amazing. So I really like them. I really like this product and it's super easy to remove at night. So I don't know. Other product that I like, I haven't used this one way too much, but I really, truly really like it. I actually got this as a gift by purchase from MAC because um, they were having that as a promotion. So I, this is my first time uh, trying this color, but I actually really like it. I think it looks super pretty and is what I'm using in this part. I do have a layer. I first use the e.l.f. and then I use a little bit of this. But I think it looks super pretty and flattering in my complexion. So I have to say that Peach Twist, which is the color of this, is super pretty. That's pretty much my products. And because this was such a long video, I'm going to do a separate video talking about my music favorites and my book favorites because I consume way too much of that and i really have to talk about those but i'm going to be just nice to all of you and do a separate video about that subject because otherwise we're going to stay here forever so without anything more to say thanks for watching thanks for wearing with me with my really long videos but you know i really really like these items and um if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share because it really does help growing my channel and I'm going to link my social media here because I put quite a bit more content there quite often I put a lot of OTDs, music recommendations, a lot of nutrition stuff which is a big passion of mine and a lot of uh, training stuff you know, in quarantine time, I cannot put so many things as I used to because I used to, you know, put a lot of things about weight training too, which is a big fashion of me. But I normally do put a lot of more content that you get to see here because I rumble way too much. So sometimes videos get way too long. <laughs> and, you know, you can see a little bit more of my photo shoots and different things. So if you want to know more about what I do, just bear in mind that I have quite a bit of content. Uh, and hopefully this video was useful to you as I mentioned before really thanks for watching and I hope you will have a good day bye